Okay, news and views of a retired man in Thailand. That's my name of my new vlog. But we're continuing and we're on 16. I know there's been 15 before, but this is vlog 16. May the 1st to the 10th. Happy birthday, my sister, 70 on May the 1st. So what am I going to talk about? Well, firstly, I'm going to talk about a show that I absolutely adore. A, a weekly political satire show on HBO called Real Time with Bill Maher. Now, I've loved Bill Maher for a number of years. Thoroughly recommend, recommend his movie, Religious. But I want to talk about uh, a couple of recent shows. Um, of course, we, we, weekly he spends quite an amount of time uh, tearing Trump to pieces but he also makes some very very strong political points and um, I, I want to talk about last week's show um, where he made references in his closing uh, new rules to uh, the the significance of the Trump administration being run very much like the mob, the mafia. And I thought it was uh, tremendously poignant about how he described the thuggery, how he described the uh, pretense of taking care, how he, how he described the, the, the people on his team, uh, the, the lawyers whose job is for him to get away with things, uh, to let it drop, so to speak. So uh, I have made a post on my Facebook uh, page about that uh, closing uh, summary, so give it a listen. The week before, he also, uh, Ma that is, uh, went through his list of the traits that are symbolic of being a fascist and quite correctly pointed out that this is exactly what uh, Trump has done. Now, let's go through them. First, the ability to be narcissistic. Secondly, wants his name or, or, or face on buildings. Three, has family members in positions of power. Four, conducts uh, political rallies. Five, he's got his own pro propaganda outlet on Fox. Six, he uses the office for personal financial gain. Seven, he aligns himself with other dictators and strongmen around the world. Seven, he claims my minorities are responsible for the country's problems. Eight, he lies so freely that people don't know what the truth is anymore. The only one Bill pointed out, which hasn't happened as yet, was military costume. We haven't seen him in military costume. So I recommend that you give him a watch. Uh, he is certainly very funny but he has also got his finger on the political pulse. So, let's move on to some more politics. Whilst watching uh, the football on NBC uh, on, uh, at the weekend, I noticed with horror that they were running an, an ad for the Marines, uh, the American Marines. And it was really obnoxious how they were trying to pretend that this career move was full of sort of uh, dressing of uh, being glamorous. Uh, I really find this quite obnoxious when uh, being in the military is glamorized as the best job in town. Moving across the pond now, uh, I noted with some amusement that Amber Rudd, um, one of the ministers in Theresa May's government who was responsible for immigration, uh, resigned the other week. 
after it became clear uh, that uh, information had been leaked to a newspaper showing that she had clearly set a target for deportations from uh, people living in the UK. Wow. Fascists there as well. Okay, right. That's my uh, political rant. Uh, I'll be back with some more stuff in part two.